from the balcony of a Florida condominium while on spring break. The latest on the tragic loss of Zachary Dickman. Tonight, new developments in a sad story we've been following. A 13-year-old Plainfield teenager dies in a freak accident over the weekend while on spring break. Today, his school is responding to the tragedy while Florida police are trying to determine how the boy fell from a 15th floor balcony. Here's RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet. This is 13-year-old Zachary Dickman of Plainfield and his mother, a woman now grieving the tragic loss of her son. Zachary had been staying with his mom and grandparents at this Panama City Beach condo complex when he fell from a 15-story balcony. His family was checking out on Saturday morning when the teen realized that he had forgot his cell phone and went back to the room to get it. Grandma waited for a few seconds, started calling his name, no answer. She went out and realized he fell off the balcony. Police say they're investigating but treating the boy's death as an accident since there are no witnesses. Investigators don't know how Zachary fell to the pool deck below. Visitors on spring break learned of the teen's death. Well, I feel so bad for his parents. I have a two-year-old little girl and I couldn't imagine um, I couldn't imagine what they're going through. On Monday, the teenager's Plainfield School issued a statement saying that Zach was an extremely bright student on the honor roll. He was well-liked and a band member, and that his death is a sobering tragedy for the entire district. Florida police say that balcony falls are not uncommon in resort areas. Just last month, a 62-year-old Texas man also died in Panama City Beach after he fell from a 12th floor balcony. These are the things that the police officers see that, that also affects them, their fathers, and, and they see this. And, you know, it has a lot more effect than just spring break. It, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tragedy for everyone. What should have been a happy ending to a vacation is now the worst time ever for Zachary Dickman's family and friends. Chris Prophet, RTV6. A family member tells RTV6 that Zachary's family is back home from Florida now. Police are now awaiting the results of an autopsy.